Hi, tech enthusiasts! Ever wonder how to seamlessly connect two IP cameras wirelessly, breaking free from the limitation of cables? Previously, we set up an IP camera using wireless network bridge, and today we'll walk through the process of connecting two IP cameras using a wireless network bridge. So connecting IP cameras wirelessly using a network bridge offers significant advantages in flexibility and convenience for civilian applications. This setup eliminates the need for extensive cabling, allowing users to deploy cameras in locations where running cables might be challenging or impractical. And whether monitoring expensive outdoor areas, remote location, or multiple buildings within a property. A wireless connection can simplify installations and reduces the overall infrastructure costs associated with traditional wire setup. And when selecting a wireless network bridge for connecting two IP cameras, it is crucial to consider several factors to ensure a reliable and efficient setup. First, evaluates the frequency band supported by the bridge, and choosing those less prone to interference for better performance. And also assess the signal strength capability, considering the distance between the cameras and any potential obstacles. And last but not least, compatibility. With both the IP cameras and other network components, it is essential to guarantee a seamless integration. So today, we are going to connect to a bullet camera and a dome-shaped camera using the wireless bridge in between. First, we are going to connect our router to our network video recorder to display video footage. And the NVR is already connected to the monitor. I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to provide data to our wireless network bridge. So first, I'm going to power it up. Plug in our 12 volt DC. And then this is the Ethernet cable from the router. So now we can have data to transmit through this wireless bridge. Make sure you turn it to the M mode. This is the reset button. We are going to hit this button to configure the channel so they will match both the bridge. Now we can see the channel is on number two and I'm going to press the button So it's on channel number three now. Doing the same thing coming over this wireless bridge. It is already powered up. And I'm going to plug in two Ethernet cables since we're connecting to two IP cameras. On this side, make sure you put it over to the S mode. And again, I'm going to press the reset button so I will change the channel to number three. So now they're matched with each other. And I'm going to connect our IP camera. First is our bullet camera. It is already powered up. Next, I'm going to connect to our dome-shaped camera. And going to the monitor, and let's wait for the image to display. As you can see, now the video feed is already displaying on our monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And also the dome-shaped camera. So the whole connection is done now. So I'm planning the placement of IP cameras connected wirelessly using the network bridge. It is vital to consider several factors for optimal performance. First and foremost, ensure a clear line of sight between the bridges and the camera to minimize signal interference. Also identify potential obstacles such as buildings or trees that might affect the connectivity. And also strategically position the bridges 
and the camera to overcome these challenges. And simultaneously, place the wireless network bridge in a location that maximizes its signal coverage while minimizing interference. So by thoughtfully planning the camera and the bridge placement, now you can enhance the reliability and efficiency of their wireless IP camera setup. And congratulations, you've just successfully connected two IP cameras with a wireless network bridge. So now let's enjoy the flexibility of monitoring multiple locations wirelessly. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, for more tech tutorials. And thank you very much for joining us today, and I will see you in the next video.